Hey, it's Mr. Iguzzi, your favorite lifeguard. And in case you're wondering, yes, Coolerine is still my cologne. Just here to remind you and to review some of our swimming strokes we learned in class this parking period. Uh, no one's in the pool, it's a little sad, it misses you. But it's nice, clean, and clear. Okay, nice and warm, too. Good, 91 degrees. Good for swim lessons. So, we started off class. Let's put my rescue down. Not rescuing anybody right now. A little swim break. We learned how to float. We learned the front float, sometimes called the dead man's float. Okay, because you look like you're dead, but it's actually a survival float. We learned the back float. Okay, we learned about buoyancy and hydrodynamics. Then, we learned the front crawl. Good competition stroke, good exercise. Uses a flutter kick to keep their legs straight, we barely bend our knees, feet and ankles are relaxed. We got our arms that came up our side over top of our head, dove in, stretched out, okay? For those upper body movements to catch, pull, finish, and then recovery. And then we went to the back crawl. So the back crawl is sort of like the front crawl, but on your back. That's why it's called the back crawl. You're on your back, same flutter kick, knees barely bending, feet and ankles relaxed, fluttering away, head back. But our arms were different. We started off learning the T-Rex, keep our arms in the right spot because we all have those bad habits of just coming up and around, being out here to the side, looking like we're throwing some horseshoes, bowling, pitching a softball or something. And that's not how we need to do it. We need to come up around, bring those elbows in and push down, up around, elbows in, push down. Okay. Then we moved on to the side stroke. That was a new stroke for everyone. Okay, we learned that the side stroke was for your safety, especially if there's like a strong rip current or undertow at the ocean or river. You can use it to get to shore. We swim parallel to the beach or shore till we get right in. And you get the safety where you can stand up. But we learned it has a scissor kick. It was a brand new kick for everyone. That scissor kick kind of looks like we're doing a lunge in the water and then coming up straight in the glide. And we had our different arm motion for here. Came out almost like a little bit of ballet. Wait. Okay. Then we went to the elementary backstroke, okay. where we learned to whip kick. So we had to let the knees come up, out, whip them around. A lot of us, maybe we went a little too far, look like a froggy. We want to keep our knees closer together. Then we added our arms up here, out, down strong for the nice glide for three seconds. And we learned that the side stroke and elementary backstroke are both resting stroke and survival strokes. You can use them to survive an emergency situation and take a break and rest. So we want to make sure we remember all those and practice them. So we're prepared if you ever have to swim or if you just want to exercise and be healthier. Right? They're all good to know in case of emergency or to exercise and, and be healthy. You can always practice them in your bathtub. Keep swimming, be safe, sit down and slide in.